Okay, Charlie, I'm ready to play. Come on, get in there. Good boy. Okay, you ready? Let's play four square. No, 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 you're not supposed to come on my side. Okay, I'll come over here. You can take that side. Oh, it went out. Hey, it too, it went out. It went out on you, not on me. Charlie, it did go out on you. If you're going to be sick, it didn't go out on you, and it clearly did. Good sportsmanship today. So it's going to be down here, story number 16, good sportsmanship. It says, I learned how to be a good sport. Well, Tomcat, when he was playing with Tabby Cat, he was kind of bragging about how well he was doing, and that didn't make it really fun for Tabby Cat. And another thing that I've noticed at school sometimes that is not so fun is when somebody doesn't play by the rules and they try to win that way. And if that's not also being a good sport either. To be a good sport, you have to play by the rules and play your best, but not really brag about it too much. So I'm going to get my crayons here and I'm going to get my solution. I'm going to put my name at the top. Then I'm going to read my directions. Directions. Draw a picture of you being a good sport. I'm going to do this one. Not about the time that you lost your temper and started yelling. Not about the time you tried to not play by the rules like my Charlie dog over there. Draw a picture of you being a good sport. Now, I kind of think of being a good sport as cheer not only my teammates but kind of recognizing when somebody I'm playing against is playing really well too and kind of saying like hey you know what that was a good shot even though if they may score it against me sometimes just kind of recognizing like hey you're doing really good there it's just a good way to enjoy the game because if you didn't have somebody to play against then you wouldn't be able to play it at all so I think I'm going to do that I'm gonna cheer I'm gonna tell somebody nice shot I think I'll do a soccer field so we've been playing some soccer at our recesses and I'm gonna be cheering somebody on the other team because it's just so much more fun to play together and not be so much about the win and trust me I like to win but I'd rather have fun so I'm gonna put my, my soccer goal is gonna look kind of weird that's okay it's got like a net. I'll put one on this side too. Whoa. <laughs> well, good thing we're practicing shapes right now, right guys? I need to work on my soccer goal shape. Okay, so I'm going to put somebody just scored. We'll put the ball in this. This one they just scored. And it was a really good shot. But that person wasn't on my team, so I could get angry and upset and maybe complain about it and say, Hey, you fouled, or you did this, or you did that. But sometimes it's just a nice shot. So I'm going to put this person will have this color jersey. It'll be a different color than mine. And let's go with... Oh, my black, oh, black shorts in that triangle shape and have legs coming out <laughs> again drawings aren't always perfect that's the foot that just kicked it I'll draw these little lines like whoosh and can't use your hands in soccer one two three four five one two three four five this person's going to be facing the goal, a little bump for a nose, and a happy face because they scored. Bum, 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 bum. And then I'm going to be in the blue team. to show like wow good shot there's 
my nose. And I'm also gonna be like, whoa, because sometimes you just gotta say, wow. Good job, other team. Five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. My mouth is open here. I'm gonna do a little word bubble. So I can be a good sport with my words. I can be a good sport with my body language, like not being all grumpy and kicking the air. Na na na. Nai I I. Now it sounds like an S. Nice. It's one of those times where it's a soft C, like celery, with a sneaky E. That sneaky E made this into a long I sound. Nice. Shh. That's a blend. S H is a blend that goes. Shh. Like be quiet. Shh. Shh. Ah ah. T -t -t. And I'm gonna use an exclamation mark. Nice shot. So even though we're on different teams can still be a good sport to the person I'm playing against because I want to keep playing with them. Like I said, if I'm upset and angry and not a good sport, they're not going to want to play with me. Then I won't get to play at all. I've got to have someone to play against. Alright, I'm going to keep adding all my little detail here, doing my background. I could even add a nice blue sky. It is beautiful today. I hope it's beautiful where you are today. my sunshine. You know what, I'm going to even make the, the sun's going to be happy that I'm being a good sport. Yep, he's happy. Alright my friends, well I'm sure you have lots of experiences where you have been a good sport. It could be in a sport, or it could be just playing like a board. It can be a good sport when you're playing a board game. You could be a good sport when you're working on something together, like building a tower. So you think of a time where you were a good sport with the person you were playing with or playing against. All right. 